Hey Kevin here, Mr. DIY Dork from DIYDork.com. Today I'm going to show you how to break free from your standard hardware store gray and brown wood stains and make your own of any color you want, anything you can possibly imagine. It'll turn your projects into something that you never thought you could do before. So anyway, check this out. It's a really simple project, but the results are just awesome. So anyway, check it out. I think you're going to like it. Alright, so to start off, I just want to show you what this little project I'm working on looked like in its raw state. This is just straight up half inch plywood that I drew a pattern, I cut all the pieces out, I sand them smooth, and I slightly rounded off the edges a little bit just to kind of, you know, bring them up a notch, make them look a little nicer. But really the design and even the project itself doesn't matter, the plywood doesn't matter. I just thought I would make the uh, color stain samples a little more interesting than just a couple blocks of wood that I'm showing you. So I decided to do a pattern and you can kind of see what everything looks like together. So my plan is for these bigger pieces here in the corner, they're going to have a nice bright color stain on them, a color wash. Then the medium sized pieces here are going to have, two of them are going to have my homemade wood stain on them and two of them are going to be left alone. And then eventually when everything gets clear coated, they'll have clear coat. So they'll, for the most part, be raw. Okay, now these smaller pieces here, what I'm going to do is a black and a white color wash on them. So in reality, really what we're doing is like a white wash, but we're doing it with different colors. And I just want to show you how to make it and uh, what it looks like. It's really cool and it's a little more interesting than just your standard color tones of stains where they're usually grays or browns and things like that. So um, I decided to make it kind of an interesting little project here to show you what everything looks like and how simple it is to make this color stain. All right, so to make your color stain, it's actually very simple. It's just like making whitewash except for using color. So I recommend using a ratio of two to one of water to paint. So um, another thing I should mention is if you're doing a whole piece of furniture, you could probably use, you know, a half cup to, of paint to a full cup of water, or maybe it's like one cup to two cups. But because the little pieces from a sample here are so small, I'm actually just using this little uh, half tablespoon, and really even it's a little big. So anyway, like I said, real simple, two to one. I'm putting in two of these. All right, two scoops of that, just water, and then one full of paint. All right, very, very simple. Then you just want to mix it up till it basically looks like colored milk, okay? I guess you could say strawberry milk here. Just make sure that there's no clumps and that there's no, you know, blobs of paint. You want to make sure it's all totally smoothed down or when you start to brush it onto your wood, you're going to get globs that are, you know, just pure paint. So you want to make sure to avoid that. All right, so that is it. This stain is now done. So all you got to do is I'm using a foam brush here, but you could use a rag or even a regular brush if you want. I'm just going to dip it in there, kind of wipe it off a little bit uh, to start the edges. Just put it on. It goes on really wet. It's like going, uh, pro you know, kind of like putting on really thick milk or something like that, except it's colored. And uh, just put it on there. I put it on the edges first because then I can lay the piece down and get the top side really good. But anyway goes on really awesome looks cool and I'll show you just how awesome this looks put on the flat surface here okay so here's how it looks going on the flat surface it goes on pretty heavy but I'll show you a trick if you don't want it that heavy I mean it practically looks like paint here but really once it dries it will thin out a little bit one of the things you can do is actually mess with the ratio um, to determine how dark you want your piece to be uh, like I said, I did a two to one water to paint. You could even try a one to one or one and a half to one, but this trick right here is a little easier. I think two to one is a really nice medium point to start. Okay, if you think that's a little heavy and you want wood grain to show through, all I recommend doing is taking like a paper towel or a rag or whatever and dabbing a lot of it away. You can see how the magic's happening here? Pretty cool. You can just wipe it. And check that out the wood stain really shows through and it looks like it was stained this definitely does not look painted at all it looks stained so then what you want to do is since that is basically pure water you want this piece to dry before you finish it and i'll show you what i, I use to finish and then uh, show you what the whole thing looks like all done all right once the color wash has dried your piece is ready to get protected and essentially since this was mostly just water the the wood really is still raw so if anything dropped on here you know a bottom of a coffee mug or some spaghetti splatter 
or whatever, it's probably gonna stain this, so you wanna protect it somehow. So you can either do some brush on poly, maybe some wipe on poly. I really like using this paste finishing wax just as it's quick and easy. Um, it may not be for every project, but for especially just these little color samples here, it's perfect. But uh, the one cool thing about this wax that I really like is that it fills in a lot of the pores if you didn't really sand the best, and it makes the piece feel really smooth, and it kind of gives it a silky texture. Um, the other cool thing is that it doesn't darken up the wood too much. A lot of times when you use, you know, brush on polyurethane that's oil based, it kind of turns the wood, you know, kind of gives it like that golden look. Well, this stuff, it just makes it look kind of wet, but it doesn't really add too much color. And like I said, it's really simple and it fills in the pores and it gives it that, that silky feel. But now that this is done, I'll show you what all those samples look like together and it turned out really cool. All right, and there we go, it's all finished. There's the pink one that I did for the tutorial. And then have orange, this one's yellow, maybe kind of hard to tell, but that is yellow. And of course the teal blue. Um, this one and that one right there have my homemade wood stain on them. And then of course these two are raw with just the finishing wax when everything got finished. And then the one up top here and at the bottom, those have a little black wash. And then these two right here have white wash on them. Anyway, it turned out really cool. Definitely a lot different finish than your standard paint. So this would look really cool on all kinds of projects.